stampers and welcome to Laura's stamp pad. I've been having so much fun with the You've Got This stamp set and I'm here to show you this amazing sample today with a little bit of watercoloring. And it's simple and gets this amazing look. I just love that black and white with the pop of color. It is just so gorgeous. I chose orange for this one um, and I used Tangelo Twist. But then today I'm actually going to show you how I did it in Elegant Eggplant. So I used this stamp set here, which is the You've Got This stamp set. It has all these amazing images as well as some wonderful greetings to use for lots of different occasions. And today we'll be just using the flower here. So I went ahead and I'll push this aside and pull in a piece of Whisper White cardstock. I inked up the flower image in some stays on black. And of course, you have to make sure it's nice and inked up, but don't leave this one out for long because otherwise it'll dry up since it's an alcohol-based ink. I do love the smell of stays on. Am I the only one here that loves that or do you all love it as well? You can give me a little shout out if you want or a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. So since I will be fussy cutting this out, it doesn't really matter where I stamp it. So I'm just going to stamp down and press so that I have nice even coverage. And there's our flower. And now I'm actually going to take my aqua painter here and I'm going to cut I'm going to color this. And I actually do not have watercolor paper. I use just regular cardstock for this, Whisper White cardstock. So I have my elegant eggplant and also my cucumber crush. And if you if you want, you can always take your ink pad and smash it into the, the lid and then you have your little color palette there. If you prefer to have nice clean ink pads, then you can always just take one of your clear blocks and stamp it in the ink and then use that. And then when you're all done, you can either rinse it off or you can use a baby wipe. So that's what I'm going to be doing today as I'm just going to take those in both Cucumber Crush and Elegant Eggplant. Now I'm not really ever going to squeeze my Aqua Painter. I'm just going to pick up some color and start coloring and not really use a whole bunch of water. And you can go lighter on one side and darker on another if you're really good at that, um, that look of, of water coloring. I'm not really the best with it and I like a nice dark color so I end up just doing a full coverage but sometimes I use these lines to get uh, a darker image in one section and a lighter image in another. And of course, when it's time to change colors, you'll just kind of run it dry or use a paper towel. And then now we'll go ahead and we'll do our elegant eggplant. So you can see I've done some of the darker areas and I just kind of picked in and chose which ones I wanted to do. And now you can see it's starting to get a little bit lighter on my brush and I'm not gonna go back for ink just yet because I want some of those lighter areas as well. And now I'll start kind of coloring in some of these bigger petals with that lighter purple. So I have to go back for a little bit more but I'm just gonna get a little hint And there you have your flower. Of course, at any time you could always add water by just squeezing and dripping and then you can get a lighter, um, a lighter look of the purple over here if you didn't want it to be so dark. But if you want it to be dark, then you can just lightly grab at it and then pull in your color. I always finish off the center with a crushed curry yellow. I prefer using the marker on this because I want that bold yellow look. 
and I find with watercoloring the yellow tends to be a little um, lighter looking and if it pulls any of that purple then it ends up becoming dirty looking almost so I always finish it off by using the crushed curry marker um, to get that center look there which I love this purple one and that cucumber crush is just the perfect color for uh, stems and vines and leaves and stuff super love it so let's bring back in that sample I went ahead and I stamped the flower all around the edges so it's like upside down here and then kind of sideways and sideways in here so I stamped that around I did fussy cut this image here um, and then I popped that with some Stampin' Dimensionals of course you know how I love my Stampin' Dimensionals so I actually popped the flower up with Stampin' Dimensionals after I fussy cut it and then I love this happy birthday greeting because the font is just scrolly and gorgeous and I used that from the happy birthday everyone stamp set which is a hostess stamp set so you can earn that starting at $150 order whether you have a party or whether you do a single order so super fabulous let's bring in both samples here. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial uh, with the Aqua Painter and this amazing stamp set. You've got this. Be sure to check out my blog, laurastamppad.com, for more photos on these samples and others. Until next time, happy stamping. Bye bye.